Well, it, let me stop you there before you get to the other examples. Okay. It, now, women today are very much more involved in athletics than they were before because of the way our, our society has changed, thank God. But a whole lot of women, though, have not participated in rough, tough sports. Mm -hmm. So how in the world do you come up with an equivalent for a woman that shows to you that they are as tough as a man in terms of hiring them? Are they not afraid to back down from controversial issues? Have they been involved in those kinds of things? How did they do in school? What kind of a school did they go to? Was it a good school? Did they get good grades? What were they involved in? Were they a leader in that organization? I I've got a salesperson uh, that has never, ever participated in athletics in his life. Now, one of the reasons that he didn't is that he constantly got too many flags in soccer. Do you get the picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and, and, and so consequently, the same thing is true of another young salesperson who never did anything. But I'll tell you what he did. He went to one of the toughest schools in the country. I'm talking about in athletics. Mm -hmm. One of the toughest academic schools in the country. He graduated with very good grades. Uh, he was uh, president of the judicial board. He was involved in the student government. He was the uh, editor-in-chief of the newspaper. I know that he would go to class at 8 in the morning, and he would work at these activities until midnight. Now, you've got to be pretty physically tough to do that. And he rose as a leader in every one of those situations. You mentioned a minute ago, too, that one of the mistakes that people make when they're trying to hire the very best is that they don't know how to do the interviews. Mm -hmm. If you got any got any insights for what it is that people should be doing in the interviews and, and selecting the wheat from the chaff to make sure that they've got a peak performing team. Yeah, in fact, uh, we've got a, a series of questions that we can provide people that are telephone interview questions and other questions and if they will email uh, will w i l l at the brooks group he will get them back to you so you can take a look at them rather than overwhelm people with questions do you recommend also that people i know, I know you do this and i know you provide the service and, and I, so, so i presume your answer is going to be yes but that is that do you recommend that everybody who is in the process of hiring somebody for their sales team, that they, they run these evaluation instruments. The yes, te and, and the testing. And there are all kinds, there are 1,600 different assessments out there. The ones that we happen to use are the ones that are internal to us. And the interesting thing about it is about 40% of our revenue in this company is assessments for hiring. So there are lots of different options. We, you know, whether you use us or somebody else is your, is your decision. But I want to tell you, without having that information and you just do the interview, you're not going to be able to to ascertain. We also do the benchmarks, and we also determine what you're looking for, and give you interview questions when we do the benchmark. So, in other words, you can you can screen the applicants for these companies. Yes, we can do so that okay. for them. All right. Uh, but the bottom line to it is, let me give you an example of 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 a, of a typical interview. So let's let's do that for a second. Okay, right. you're the applicant. I'm the salesperson, sales manager. Okay. Uh, Rick, tell me about yourself. Well. Um, I've, uh, you know, all my life I've been enamored of people who sell, who sell, because it seems to me those are the people that make most of the money. Those are the people that mm -hmm. control control their existence. Um, and I very much would like to work for you, Mr. Brooks, because I think that you're the kind of guy that would teach me how to be the very best salesperson I could be. Uh, we're looking for someone with an outgoing uh, personality who has a lot of energy. Tell me how you how you fit into that one. Well. Um, I was an outward bound when I was younger. I was uh, I played in sports, although not not professional level sports. I played in the little league. I played sandlot football and baseball. Well, 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 and all you that. know, all that's good, Rick. But yeah. let me tell you what we're really looking for. We're looking for somebody who's really going to work hard. But before we do a, do that, let me tell you a little bit about the job and what a great opportunity it is for us. All right. Now, here's what that amounts to. I am am selling you on the job. The problem with most interviews is people do more of the talking than they do the asking. They also tip their hand, and when they tip their hand, people know what they're looking for. Watch this interview. Uh, Rick, tell me how much you know about our company. Well, I know that you're one of the most dynamic sales operations in the country, that uh, you've got about 11 employees that are, that are here, that you go around the country and are well regarded as one of the best sales speakers in the country. Well, let me ask you another question. How many times have you gone to our website? Um, haven't had the opportunity. Okay. What did you like? Oh, I was going to ask you what you like most about which. Oh, you didn't go. No, I, I'm sorry. I, 
I'm, oh. I'm interviewing with a, I'm interviewing with a lot of different companies, and I haven't had the opportunity to take a good look at your website. Okay. Well, well here's what I'd like you to do, if you would, uh, uh, Rick. Um, I'd like you to sell me these glasses. Yeah. Well, in, in, in order for me to interest you in these glasses, the first thing I need to, need to, to ask you is, uh, what, what is the level of your vision? Do you, what's, what's the acuity okay. of your vision? Excellent, right now? Rick. Guess what? You passed. You know what I was looking for? No. Did you have enough sense to ask me a question, or did you start selling the glasses? I often tell executives, sales managers, etc., mm -hmm. have something on your desk, uh, a stapler or something, and just give it to somebody and say, sell it to me. And all you're looking for is this. Do they ask or do they tell? Can, say, I, get the, can I get the job? Yeah, there are all kinds of things, but uh -huh. the bottom line is hire only the best. And here's the other thing. Don't rely just on uh, a reference. If you know anything about the law, what you know is what they're required to tell you is, yes, they work there in the dates. And is somebody going to give you a reference of all the people we've mm -hmm. had? He or she is one of the most recent. It's not going to happen. They're going to give you people that are positive. Uh, one of the things we tell people to do is to, is to call before 7 or after 6 at night and say to them, okay, we're interested in hiring so-and-so. Please return the call only if you would rehire them yourself. And, does that and guess what? <laughs> if they don't call back, they wouldn't rehire them, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. so, so what I'm telling you is there are all kinds of ways, courses, seminars, we have them ourselves, on how to hire only the best. And I'm going to tell you, once you hire good people who are tough-minded and they're capable, your life is easier. But people just rush to judgment to put, you know what they want to do? They want to put feet in the seat to have somebody there, and then, they, then they're stuck with these people and they can't get rid of them. And they're leading up, then these will not never be top performers. Now, if you're lucky enough, you know, blind squirrels find acorns once in a while, but that doesn't mean you did it in any scientific way. 